Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and this time, for the first time in my entire life, not even just on YouTube, I'm going to be making slime. This is my dish. Um, I know this is kind of a pretty big tradition on YouTube, really in the community, slime community in general, uh, but definitely on YouTube, a lot of people, I see a lot of slime videos, it's a pretty popular thing in the uh, challenge kind of area. So anyway, I'm going to be attempting to make it myself. So I got quite a bit of glue here and I got my ingredients, I got my activator. And don't worry, I'm not gonna be making just boring uh, like white slime because I got some food color and uh, we're gonna be kind of playing around maybe with some, some colors after we decide what color we want. And this will be my uh, spatula for uh, stirring so so let's try to get started so I'm going to since this is a big bottle of glue I'm going to I don't really know exactly how much to add a lot of people I've seen will use the smaller bottles and they'll just put like maybe two three four depending on how big they want their slime to be I'm hoping I can get it fixed fit to fit in this tiny little uh, plastic jar here so that way I can preserve it up uh, well semi-preserve it. I know it dries out after a while, but uh, so the ch another thing here is I got to figure out how to uh, how much slime I need to add out of this ginormous bottle. So and uh, also the activator because I got a huge bottle of activator too and I got to figure out how much I need to add. So I'll probably just add like little bits at a time until I feel like maybe that's close to getting to too much. Ah, okay. Oh, that'll be fine the way it is. First things first is we want to add our glue. And I'm just going to add just like, just about where it looks like there's about two regular size bottles worth. That looks about right. So, and then I'm going to kind of pick my color. So, Let's see what colors. I think we pretty much got every color in the rainbow here. I'm thinking I want to go for a red slime because that's my favorite color and I just happened to pull out red first. So, and I just dropped my freaking seal in there. Nice. Nice job, Kevin. Oh, I should have brought like, I feel like I don't want to get the table dirty, but because I've never done messy stuff like this before. Okay. That'll be fine the way it is. I feel like I'm in in first grade again, playing around with glue. Okay, that's probably way too much. I'm getting carried away here. So I'll start with that, and then, like I said, I'll add more if I need to. It looks red right now, but it's probably gonna turn pink, like I said, as I stir it. So. Yeah, it's definitely looking pink, so I'm gonna have to add some more food color. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see this, yeah. Probably got my crap in the way. Uh, okay, and there's definitely needs to be more glue because this is like barely any slime at all. Or it's not slime yet, it's still glue right now. It's not slime until you add the activator. So, um, first things first, I'm gonna add more glue so it's gonna be even get it, it's gonna get even brighter first. Eh, probably a smidge more, okay. And then I'm just gonna stir that in. A little bit. Move that out of the way because I'm probably putting that in way too far in the shot. And my hair keeps falling down. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some more food coloring for sure because it's definitely gonna need way more than that. Alright, I may add a little bit of black to darken it up a little bit. I just now realized that that might work a little bit, but I'm gonna try to put a little bit more red in there first. So I'll probably put, because this might turn out hot pink if I don't add any black in it. Because it'll kind of darken up that red a little bit. It's looking much better already, but it kind of has a hot pink color to it. Like, so I'm going to add like a little bit more red. I think that's probably enough. It's probably enough uh, glue, I think. I've added, I don't know, like pretty good portion. I think the activator also like blows up the slime a little bit. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. I'm no slime expert. 
if I can find the black, that's brown, that's dark purple, sky blue, here it is black. Okay, like I said, just one drop. One drop, there we go. All right, now let's see how much damage that drop did. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to add more than one drop because that barely did anything. I'm gonna add like two drops or three. Oh, well that was like four, so not doing anything. So I'm gonna add some more red. Is it sad that I know nothing? Uh, that is red, right? Okay. <laughs> I was say, I'm not just throwing black into my more black into my slime, am I? I know nothing about colors, and my mom's an art teacher, so she would be embarrassed to see this video right now. Ah, uh, this is taking forever, gosh, jeez Louise, man. It just, no matter how much I friggin' add, it just looks pink. More red, maybe? I don't want to add more black, because that didn't really do anything. Oh god, it's taking forever. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more black. Like I said, it's probably gonna. It keeps changing it to kind of a crimsony color, which is not what I want. But we're just gonna have to roll with it. This is not working. It just will not turn red. No matter how much food coloring I add, it just won't turn red. Oh god, it's not working. Okay. Oh, my hand is cramping. Ah. Oh. It's too much work. I can't stand this. It's too much work. <laughs> okay, now it's looking like a really weird, like, muddy purple. I don't even know what color to describe that. Like maroon, I guess. Kind of a purplish red. I guess that's maroon. Maroon is purple red, right? I think. I know my colors. Okay, now add some more red. Maybe I should have went for an easier color. <laughs> so, but red's my favorite color, and that's the one I wanted to do first. So, But this is not working out. Red apparently is a hard color to make with slime, or at least it is for me, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Well, all right, let's hope and pray, and... I have no idea how much activator to add, by the way, so... So I'm gonna add just a little bit. And plus this brand, I don't know, because some brands are a little bit more powerful than others. Like, I think the Elmer's Magical Liquid, you have to add quite a bit of it. And then there's some activators that, from my understanding, there's some that are like, you have to add like barely any, otherwise it'll... And this looks like it's not doing anything, so I'm going to add just a little, I'm going to stir it just for a few more seconds and I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'm definitely going to need more than that. So this is probably like a weak activator. So, which I did barely add any though, so because I was scared. Went a little bit more this time. Okay. Now let's try it. The only thing about this red slime is it's going to make my dye my hands pink. Like my hands are going to be pink probably for days, so, unless I wash them. Unless I wash my hands. You know, Kevin, if you wash your hands, they'll be clean. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own jokes. Like, I, it's all right. It's pretty thick, but it's still a little bit watery. So, I'm gonna have to add some more um, activator. Oh, that was probably way too much. I don't know what I'm thinking. That's all right. We'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Oh god, this feels weird. Okay. Yeah, I think that's thick enough. So. Well, maybe, mm. this may, I actually might still be a little bit too, still a little bit too watery, a little bit too thin, because look at that, it's just like, falling down, and it's getting, like, all over my hands, so, well, maybe, I don't know, it's, it's like, it feels like it might be, like, the perfect balance, here, let's move that out of the way, here, 
Jeez Louise, I got it all over myself. Here, stop touching this. <laughs> it's kind of addicting to touch after a couple of minutes. When you touch it, you keep wanting to touch it. Stop, stop touching the slime for a second there, Kevin. I probably should have done this one-handed. I didn't think about this. Okay, move that out of the way because I think it's in the way. Uh, and I just dug my hand right back in it. Okay. But yeah, if you see it, like, probably could use a little bit more activator, but I think I'm actually going to keep it this way. The only problem with it is that, like I said, it gets freaking stuck all over your hands. I think I, I think one of my hairs got in there. So, and I just dug my hand back in it again. I keep doing it. I can't stop doing it. It's like, it just draws me in. I keep going, no, it actually comes off pretty easily, actually. So, so maybe, I mean, it, it easy. It comes off pretty easy. I mean, you have to kind of dig at it, but it doesn't like, yeah, like I said, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it comes off when you pull directly on it, but it, like, you can't just like pull it all off at once, which, I mean, you know, if you've made slime before, you know how it works. All right, here is my finished slime. I went ahead and put it in the jar. Uh, sorry, I had technical difficulties with my camera, so I had to turn it off for a little while. Uh, and then I didn't want my slime to dry out, so I went ahead and stuck it in the jar. This is what it looks like at the jar. I mean, I literally filled it to the tippy top. Uh, it didn't turn out red. It's kind of more of a purple, pinkish purple, I guess you could say. Um, I will open it though and show you what the inside looks like. Hopefully the slime doesn't just start to... No, oh, okay. Looks pretty good actually. And if it'll stop foozing around, like I said, it definitely needed some more activator. Probably another splash or two um, of activator would have gotten it from being so gooey. Uh, because like I said, it would it was fun to play with, but anytime you were trying to do it like something else with it, like when I would try to transport it from my pan onto the, you know, into the jar, it was just like going everywhere. So, and it's like, I couldn't quite get a hold of it. And I couldn't even hold it up into my hands. It just kept falling out. I couldn't get a hold of it. So it definitely needed some more uh, activator, um, probably like at least a splash or two. So that's something I will learn from now on. But yeah, that's the uh, slime. This is a little close-up of my slime. Yeah, it's like I said, it's very gooey when you squish it, just like. Just like, said you try to hold, I'm not gonna pick it up, but when you try to hold it in your hands, it's just like, it just gets everywhere. So. It really reminds me, the slime reminds me, like the color and the way it acts reminds me of the, like the movie, The Blob. Like how it just like oozes out. I'm gonna put this lid back on there. So. It just oozes out like literally when I put this on here it was all over this jar like and I couldn't get hardly get it off I had to run water all over it, like hot water on it to try to get it all off and uh, so yeah but it was a lot of fun to make I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a like um, I upload videos every Friday so make sure to continue uh, check out my channel subscribe and be back for more videos and I'll see you in the next video